All right, everybody, this is Ross. If you guys are a big fan of blueberries, this is really the video for you because we're gonna look at a bunch of my different blueberry plants that I have here on this property. We're in the Philadelphia area and now it's uh, roughly mid-June. Today is June 12th and we're starting to see some blueberries actually ripen our really early varieties. Excuse the noise there, guys. Our really early varieties ripen or turn color uh, now that it's it's mid-June. I wanna highlight, we're gonna show you guys all the varieties I'm growing in terms of their, I wanna highlight their productivity, but I really wanna highlight two varieties in particular because I'm fascinated to know if there is some genetics or some varieties out there uh, that would really be well worth growing because of their improved fruit quality or their improved uh, flavor. Um, this particular berry here, or this variety, is called Chippewa. And Chippewa is a, I think, has some wild blueberry genetics within it. And because it has those wild blueberry genetics, you end up getting a more wild, exotic flavor to your blueberry. Um, there was some talk, in, in, by the way, in nursery catalogs that said that it might not be pollinated that well because of those genetics, but I have not seen any issues with pollination here. Right next to it is a variety called Drapper. And I would say the both of them, considering the circumstances of where they're planted, the lack of light that they have, the lack of organic material, even the lack of any sort of pH amendment whatsoever on my property, they're doing fantastic. Um, but what really impresses me about Chippewa is that one, it's, it's early, so it's one of the first blueberries here to ripen. It's got a really good size. I'll show you guys these berries in a minute. I'm gonna pick some of them. But the flavor really is what gets me on this because this is probably the best flavored blueberry I have. It also seems to produce blueberries over a longer period of time. So this is really good, I guess, for somebody as a home gardener, home grower, would probably appreciate an extended harvest more than uh, a commercial grower, right? The commercial guys wanna pick all these at the same time. This is about the size of my thumbnail. So that's a pretty good sized blueberry, um, at least I think. So let's try them and describe the flavor because as I said, I, I'm really impressed with this one, particularly. Yeah, so there, there's a really good complexity to the berry flavor. It's not your typical sweetness, tartness, blueberry flavor profile. There's a little something extra to it. And uh, for me, that puts it ahead of other blueberries. So I want to find another variety that might just be better than this, right? I mean, there's got to be something out there that exists that can rival Chippewa, right, of all varieties. Um, so maybe we can look at different genetics. Maybe you guys might know something within blueberries themselves. And obviously, there's a wide variety of blueberries and they're only supposed to be growing in certain parts of the country. So maybe, you know, if there's uh, the high bushes that do well here, I'm going to really struggle with most of the low bush varieties that are mainly for the south. Uh, and the chill hours are really important. So, you know, keep that in mind with your recommendations. And, and maybe if you guys are looking for a blueberry variety to grow, that's something to really consider. The other thought and possibility is that not only should we be looking maybe at different varieties of blueberries, but also at a different species of plant called the service berry or the Saskatoon. Uh, it goes by many names, but it's very similar. It ripens around a similar time, sometime in June or July, and the berries look just like blueberries. I mean, there's, there's almost no difference. The, you could, you, you know, you wouldn't, if you didn't have a trained eye with this, someone might sell you some at the store you might even not even realize you bought service berries instead of blueberries. Uh, some of them have seeds. The plant grows very differently. And of course, the flavors are different. So for me, 
I think it's pr it's definitely worth looking at and just try to find, you know, not just a, a different blueberry, but something that can certainly, of a different species that can certainly wow me. Here's another variety that is super productive. I, I made the joke kind of the other day when I did my tour of these blueberries that these plants just look like one blueberry. I mean, there's so many blueberries on here that they look like they're one berry. It's like a crazy infestation of berries that there's almost no foliage, it seems like, in certain, certain areas of the tree. This one actually here is getting some chlorosis, so that's a sign there that we're, we're lacking some proper pH. So I may have to adjust the pH, actually, for the first time since I planted them. Uh, what's nice about these berries, or these bushes, compared to these other much smaller, much less productive tree uh, bushes, is that these are in much more light. Um, and also I have, when I first planted these, excuse the black mulch here, this is really just because we're on the side of the road. But when I first planted these, you know what, I don't even know if this is, if I can show it to you, but yeah, right under here, under the mulch was a huge amount of peat moss that I put down. And that peat moss is quite acidic and if you grow blueberries almost exclusively in peat moss, and maybe you add organic material on top of that. I added many layers of mulch throughout the years to these, to these plants, and the soil has greatly improved. And you can really tell because of the, the soil pH, the organic material that we've added, the a lot of rain that we get here on this property in this climate, uh, this is like blueberry haven. I mean, look at the amount of blueberries that these plants possess. It's, it is insane. Um, and it's not just one variety or some varieties. They all do well here. It's blueberry haven. Now, here's the other one that I really am impressed with. Um, this is a variety called Chandler, which if you look it up, it really said, is said to produce the largest blueberries you can grow. And I would totally agree. It seems like this particular variety sets real heavy. The fruits are huge. I mean, this whole branch here was just totally bent over. The sheer weight of the fruits and the size of these fruits, that they really are bigger than, most of them are bigger than my thumbnail. It's also just now turning ripe, so I'm gonna try some of those. But I think that's really the main thing with this particular berry is that it's really all about the size. Um, the flavor is good, but it's not as good as Chippewa. And believe it or not, I actually think the fact that Chippewa's really got some good size to it, it almost just makes sense to just grow Chippewa. Like, I'm really that impressed with that, with that particular berry. This one here is not perfectly ripe. They're still probably like a week away from being totally ripe, these berries, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna pick a couple of these and we're gonna try to get, yeah, actually, they're still at least a week away, but you get a good idea here of the size. And then historically, as I've said before, they're just not as tasty as the Chippewa. So it is special in my mind, and I think the reason why it doesn't produce, or it produces so many large berries is because there's less flowers. It's kind of like a way of the plant self thinning itself. <clears throat> if these bushes produced less flowers, or if I thinned off the fruits, I probably would get really big size to the fruits. So I think that's what Dra uh, Chandler here does so well, that if you wanted to get this big size to the fruit, that's one way to do it. And uh, for my money, I think both of them, just regardless of what I've said, they're, they're really some standard varieties here in this climate, whether if you want size, or if you also want some size with this Chippewa, maybe not as consistent size, but uh, certainly 
a really good flavor. So those are the blueberries, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos we've done on blueberries. We'll see you soon. Take care.